Hey there, hustlers! Do you want to earn up to $3,000 per month by just selling your old school work or old school documents? Well, this is possible with StudyPool. In this video, I'm going to share how you can earn up to $3,000 per month by just selling your school documents such as lecture notes, practice problems, practice quizzes, old exam study guides, past papers, and old homework that can be used as reference. I would like to emphasize that encoded or handwritten notes are accepted, any language used in the document is accepted, and any subject is accepted here in Study Pool. For those who are new here, I am Shella Marie. I'm a medtech student and a freelancer who make videos about ways to earn money online. If you are into this kind of videos, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. StudyPool is an online learning platform that offers students various services to help them in their studies. These services include providing study documents and online question and answer tutoring. If you will visit the website of StudyPool, which is linked in the description box, you can see on the top part of the page, sell docs and become tutor. So these are actually the two ways on how you can earn in StudyPool. In this platform, you can be a text-based tutor. To become a text-based tutor, you need to pass the application process, after which your task as a tutor would be helping the students in answering homework questions. Another way to earn in study pool is by selling study documents, and this would be the focus of my video. Hello to my co-students out there. This side hustle is actually best for students, graduates, and teachers because we have a lot of school documents and now we can make use of them to earn money. Specifically, you can earn money from this uploaded school documents every time the documents get sold. The best thing about this is that one document can be sold many times which gives you now the opportunity to earn more money. This kind of side hustle actually falls under the passive income wherein you do not need to exert too much effort but you are still earning. Some of you might be concerned about the chance of your uploaded documents being sold. Don't worry about it because StudyPool has more than 10 million students so there is a high probability that your document will be sold. So, what kind of documents are accepted in StudyPool? As I've said earlier in the introduction, this platform accepts any school documents such as lecture notes, practice problems, practice quizzes, old exam study guides, past papers, and old homework as long as these documents are helpful for students' academics. One of the best things about this platform is that it accepts documents in any language. Meaning, even if your document is written in your native language, then it is okay. You don't need to translate it in English. Another good thing is that they accept documents that are encoded as well as handwritten notes. So if you are this kind of person who is fond of writing down notes, then you can sell these handwritten notes. You don't need to encode it, you just have to scan it and upload it in study pool. The first step that you need to do is to create your account by signing up in the website of StudyPool. You can check out the link in the description box. To create an account, you just need a working email and formulate your own username and password. After making your account, you can now upload your study documents and if you don't have time to sort your documents, you can put them in a zip file or folder, upload them, then StudyPool will be the one to sort the documents accordingly. After uploading, the documents will be reviewed by the study pool team to evaluate if these documents can contribute academic assistance to students. Once the uploaded documents are approved by study pool, this will now be accessible by millions of students. If the students want to buy your documents, then you can now earn up to $10 each time your document is sold. I am glad to inform you that the top contributors here in study pool are earning up to $5,000 per month by just uploading study documents. Amazing, right? So how can you potentially earn this huge amount of money in this platform? Well, the key to this is to upload many study materials to increase the chances of selling your documents multiple times. If you are wondering on how you can withdraw your earnings, then here are the payment methods. You can easily withdraw your earnings from StudyPool by using PayPal, Payoneer, 
TransferWise, Western Union, ACH and Bank Deposit, Checks, and M Pesa. Now that you are well informed about selling documents in StudyBull, let us now have a video demonstration as to how you can upload your documents and I will show you where you can see your total earnings. I am now showing you the homepage of StudyPool. To start selling documents, click Sell Docs and you will be redirected into the Sell Documents page. In here, you can see the top contributors as well as the kinds of documents to be uploaded. If you scroll down a bit, you can see here the Upload button. In the lower part, we have there the recent uploaded documents and in this corner, we can see the status of the documents whether they are accepted or rejected. So now, let us try to upload a study document. There are actually two ways in uploading. First, you should click the upload button and then just click the document or zip file that you want to upload from your computer and then click open. Afterwards, it will show you that the document has been successfully uploaded and you just have to wait for the approval. Another way to upload is by dragging the document or file here in the recent uploads box. So I'm going to locate my file in the computer and then I'm just going to click the document or file that I want to upload and drag this file here in the taskbar where the Chrome is located and then I will place it here in the recent upload box. Just wait for a while then it will show you that the document has been successfully uploaded and all you have to do is to wait for the approval. Also, in the upper right corner, we can see here the bell notifications where you are notified with your documents that have been sold. To see your total earnings, just click My Uploads. On this page, you can see your total earnings, the total number of the documents that have been sold, documents that are pending, the documents that are approved, and the documents that are declined. Now that you know how to upload study documents in study pool, you might still have some questions in your mind. So for this part, I will answer frequently asked questions with respect to selling documents in study pool. First, you might be wondering how long does it take for your document to be accepted. Well, it usually takes 2 to 24 hours for the study pool team to review the school documents you have submitted. So expect this time duration for the approval of your study materials. You might also ask, do I need to be a tutor in study pool to upload a document? Well, the answer is no. You can upload documents even if you're not a study pool tutor. Another question that you might ask is, how can I boost my document sales? Well, I have three tips for you to do that. First, you should create a strong and descriptive titles to each of your approved documents. Second, your content must be high quality, legible, comprehensive, easy to read, and must have accurate or valuable information. Lastly, you should upload hundreds of documents because the more documents approved, the higher the chances they can be viewed by the students, hence higher earnings for you. This now concludes the video. I hope that I have given you enough and useful information about this platform. I highly encourage everyone to start selling your old study documents now in Study Pool because it is one of the best ways to earn passive income. So this has been Shala Marie. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!